Here you have the bottom section completed. Everything in order. Just to put on the sump. Now, this is the timing gear. If you could notice, you're hardly seeing the, the mark. It's a fine dent. Yeah, well, fine, uh, a very fine countersink. So we take out the gears, we decide to mark it over so that it will show clearly. So everybody will understand the timing easier. So we're going to clean the gears, remark them, and we'll show you the timing back again. This is the gear, the governor gear that the pump goes on. If you notice a chip gear there, this pump have no, this gear have no timing mark. So you're checking from the chip 12 come down this way. 12 to the right. And between 11 and 12 is where the mark will fall on the other timing gear. But this is the chip and this is between 11 and 12. When we put it together you'll see it more clearly. Okay, this is the timing. Notice the marks. We will start from here. Two into one. Two into one. And here we remove the washer so you can see the mark clearly. Two into one. Same thing here. Two into one. This is the the chip I was telling you on the pump gear. Right there. Notice it there. Okay. This is the turbo balance shaft. This is left side turbo balance shaft. See the two into one. And that is basically the timing. We'll show you the pump timing to the camshaft in a while. Okay. Here you will see the Crankshaft pulley on top dead center, the camshaft pulley on top dead center, and the pump timing here. You notice the dots. Okay. This is the pump timing for the engine. Also, the camshaft timing because you have a belt from the pump to the camshaft, turning the camshaft. That will be in the other video. Right now we just closing up this here. You could notice too the cylinder one, all the lobes are flat, and cylinder four, all are active. Okay, well we're going on mount all these plates and we'll be back with the bell timing.